Hey guys, no video for our how to do stuff in Japan playlist and it's another one of those heads up videos. Not much you can actually do about it except be aware of it. Being aware of it might help save some um, problems. It's going to be a video about intimacy and intimate topics but it's YouTube so we have to be very careful what we say on YouTube because free speech on YouTube is only an illusion. So I'm going to be using very uh, uh, simple words like canoodling so that we don't attract any dramas. So, over the years, we regularly get emails from people who are either, so non-Japanese people who are, who are either in a relationship with a Japanese person and confused by it, or more commonly, sadly, more commonly, get emails from people who've just broken up with somebody, a Japanese person, and they don't know why, right? Which is really sad and really common. Um, also, what sometimes happens is when we make videos like this, talking about cultural differences and relationships between Japanese people and non-Japanese people, quite often that results in an email from somebody saying, I feel much better after seeing that video. I thought it was all my problem. Now I see that it's quite common. So that's why we make these videos. Some of these videos can be some of the most important videos we make because if one person gets some benefit from it and some some help with their, their feelings about these things then um, or avoid some drama or just feel a little bit better about their situation then it was worth making the video so of course there are some Japanese people who are good communicators and when those people say yes they mean yes and when they say no they mean no of course such people do exist however it's very very common when we're talking about canoodling with Japanese people that no can actually mean yes and we did actually touch on this in a video years ago there's a very common reaction to uh, particularly japanese ladies now i'm sorry to the um to i'm sorry most of this is going to be about japanese ladies and non-japanese partners because one reason is that's the most common uh, it's more common for non-japanese people and japanese ladies to have relationships than vice versa um, and it's also the most common uh, information I get because I've got my own personal experiences. I've got experiences that I've heard secondhand through other um, non, from non-Japanese dudes, and uh, also these emails we've got over the years. We've heard these stories so many times. Um, so Japanese ladies, quite often, when they're excited, uh, when canoodling and excited and having a good time. Quite often they will say, yada, and this is really common, this is really common, yada, and yada means I don't like it or I don't want it, right? That's that's what yada normally means. If, if someone says yada, it usually means they don't want it or they don't like it. And then that can result in the person who they're with stopping and saying, well, what's the matter, are you okay? And they say, yes, 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 I'm okay, I'm okay. Now usually this is all in Japanese, not always. And then the the canoodling continues and yada yada comes again right no idea why I, 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 I would hypothesize that it's part of this Japanese thing about ladies sort of not being into it and dudes being into it and I don't know I don't know why but it's really 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 common and if you're unlucky enough to ever come across any Japanese pornography which is absolutely horrible usually it's semi rape scenes where these innocent girls are being molested by devious sad looking dudes and there's lots of yada 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 going on there so it's sort of the image is sort of like I don't really want to do this thing and, and because I'm a good girl so I don't want to do this thing yada 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 and these sort of semi rape scene or fully rape scene sometimes all sorts of weird stuff um, in the Japanese pornography and I think that's a reflection of the thinking of of possibly the males and possibly the, the females in Japan the way they see sex you know that the, 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 the dudes are really into it and which isn't really true anyway and the girls aren't into it at all which is often true but not always but it's just this image the girls aren't into it and the dudes are so the girls say yada 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 so the end result of that or maybe a reflection of that is that's often what you will experience so um, not always again not always but I've experienced it firsthand I've heard lots of dudes talk about this as well um, and, and sometimes I've had these emails over the years where 
guys will say I'm really confused. And keep in mind, this is the land of Yoko Karanai, right? This is the, the land of don't really know, don't really understand. So that's normal in Japanese communication, right? Now, you'll hear people, as we've talked about lots of times before, people have big long conversations, and at the end of it you say, what was the result? And they go, ah, oh, don't really know. Yoko Karanai. So you imagine, if that's the result from long conversations, imagine in an intimate situation where there's only a few words being spoken, all sorts of confusion can happen, right? And this yada, yada, yada. So here's the example of, of no actually meaning yes. And because I've been in that situation myself, oh, you okay? Yeah, yes, yes, please continue. And then two seconds later, it's yada, yada, yada again, which is, for some of us, is really unpleasant because, you know, a partner that's saying don't, don't, I don't want it, don't, is not what we want to be experiencing, right? It's quite a turn off for, for many of us. And again, I've heard these stories from other guys as well, and they'll say the same thing. They hate it. They hate it. Not all. I imagine there'd be some twisted dudes who quite enjoy it. That's fine too. But, um, and lucky for them, lucky for them. But for some of us, it's just, it's just not, not pleasant at all to be told no, or I don't like it when it's not true. So there's, there's the example of the no meaning yes, right? And then the other one is, and this, this is possibly worse. This is possibly worse. I've had lots of examples over the years of guys sending me emails and saying, I was, I was dating this Japanese girl. I was in Japan. I was dating this Japanese girl and it was all, we were having a great time together and it was all going well. And you know, I'd take her out lots of times and then I took her to my hotel or I went to her house and, and I was really careful to make sure that she wanted to, to do this thing, you know, and so I suggested canoodling and she said yes. And then it went a bit further and I said, is it okay? And she said yes. And it went a bit further and it's okay, yeah, and she said yes. And anyway, we canoodled. And then the next morning, she was really unhappy and then I haven't heard from her again. Now, I, I haven't had that, that, that story once. I've heard that story lots of times over the years, lots of times. And I, I have a, another buddy in, in Japan who's, uh, who's not Japanese who told me once years ago that, that he had experienced that a few times and, and his explanation was that the, the ladies were seeing it that it was the dude's responsibility to, to either to do this thing or not do this thing and if he did it, if he did it, and she wasn't really into it, um, she wasn't really keen, then that was his responsibility. So even though she'd been saying yes, 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 she didn't really want to do it. And so after after it was over, she's angry at him for doing this thing that she didn't want to do, even though she was saying yes, 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 right? Which is horrible, isn't it? And I don't know how many times. I've heard that story from guys that were still in Japan or guys that had said to me, you know, I've just got back to America or I've just got back to wherever I, they came from and, you know, I'm confused because I left this girl and, you know, we had this long relationship and right at the end, you know, we, we had canoodling and then, you know, but since I came home, she hasn't answered any of my emails. And I've had that, I've had that a number of times over the years and these guys are totally confused. I don't know why. That the relationship was really good. Now, probably what happened was she was actually enjoying hanging out with the dude while he was there, and it was all good. And then she, she'd probably see it that he ruined it at the end by canoodling with her. And that if he hadn't have done that, they could still be good buddies, but he ruined it by canoodling with her. She wouldn't see it that she said yes, 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 and she was a consenting adult. She wouldn't see it like that. She'd see it that he sort of took advantage of her, that they had this good relationship and then he took advantage of her and ruined it. That's, that's probably the way she'd see it, you know. Keeping in mind too, the statistic we, statistics we've quoted previously about the high percentage of Japanese people, male and female, who are just not into canoodling at all, right? And so she would have probably been, those ladies that have been unhappy at the end will probably would have been quite happy to just continue being just friends and, and enjoy each other's company and not spoiling it by doing that canoodling thing. That'd be the way they'd see it. It's really hard to get your head around this stuff because in, in most, you know, modern countries in 2024, you know, ladies, ladies are empowered and they will say yes or no and they will say what they want and what they don't want and so will men. You know, and, and people will. People will say what they want and what they don't want. And they'll communicate that to the other person. Oh, I'm not really into this. Or I don't really do this. Or I do want to do this. Or whatever. 
and that's considered to be healthy and that's good communication and that's what we do. The other thing is that in, in a lot of societies too, you know, the majority, not everybody, but, but a lot of people do have a healthy, healthy sort of interest in canoodling and a, and a sort of into it, you know? And if they are, they say they are, and if they're not, they say they're not, you know? And that's the sort of culture that, that most of us come from and that's what we're used to and that's that's what we've always considered to be healthy and that those societies consider that sort of thing to be healthy you know no means no right remember that campaign well it's still going on isn't it no means no i mean that we consider that to be healthy say what you think say what you want what do you want yes or no but in japanese society that in just normal japanese society normal life in japan that's not common saying no is really 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 rare you know, they'll, they'll tell you something's difficult or something's, you know. So then you extend that into this intimate situation where you've got this intimacy happening, then, you know, in that case where the girl's not into it, she's, she's not used to saying no in her day-to-day -day life. And then in this particularly intimate situation with this person who she probably does like, you know, she probably likes this person and doesn't want to make him feel bad and doesn't want to make a scene, so she just goes along with him and goes along with what's happening and then after it's over it's like, oh, you know. Actually, <laughs> like I said, most of the examples I know are Japanese females with non-Japanese uh, partners. But I do, I do, I did hear one story once from a, a European girl, a girl from Europe, and she told me about this relationship she had with this Japanese guy and it was basically the same thing in reverse. So she'd been friends with this guy for ages and he's sort of, a, I know the guy and he's a pretty good looking guy. And then she's, um, she's, you know, she was young, she was like in her early 20s and he was in his early 20s, so she took him to bed one night, right? And apparently it was sort of similar, he's gone along with it. And then as soon as it was all over, um, which wasn't long apparently, <laughs> as soon as it was all over, he's gone running off into the bathroom and had a shower. Right, right oh dear, oh dear. So, so it's really complicated and I've got no answers for you guys. I've got no answers because when a Japanese person tells you something, you know, like in, in a normal day-to-day -day situation, it's very hard to know the truth, you know, and, and, you know, it still happens to me every day, every day, you know, there's a, well, well, not every day, but, but regularly people will say things to me and I often think later on, well, was that the truth or wasn't it? And you'll never know. Sometimes it bothers you, you know, someone, 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 I had a, a meeting was supposed to happen this week and the lady rang up coughing and it didn't sound like a very real cough to me and oh, I've got I've got a, a fever and a headache and I, I need to cancel the meeting you know and afterwards you think was that real <laughs> was that true was that the real reason and you'll never know and so this is the same thing it's really really hard I mean and there are exceptions again I mean you know I've also had relationships with people here where I did manage to get to the point with them where I was pretty confident that what they were telling me was the truth, but you know, it's really rare. It's really, really rare. So you've just got to be really, 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 really careful. The same guy that said that to me years ago, he said, he said, um, he, he, his explanation for the girls just going along with it and then later blaming you for doing this thing that they didn't want to do, even though they said yes. Same guy, his advice, uh, well, not his advice, his observation was that you never really know if they're into it until they take their clothes off. Right? So his, his attitude towards it was he just wouldn't initiate any canoodling at all. He just, um, wait. And eventually, if the girls were keen, uh, or the girl was keen, it was usually one at a time, um, they'd take their clothes off and, and you know, make it, make it obvious that's what they wanted to do. And so, that's probably pretty wise. That is probably pretty wise. So, um, yeah, that'd probably be, in that, in that case, if you want to know for sure, that, that, that's actually probably the best solution. There you go. He gave me that. He must have told me that 20 years ago. He must have said that. 20 years later, yeah, he's probably right. That's <laughs> probably the best thing. Just wait. Just wait. Let make them make them and wait till they really initiate it, you know? They're not just being your buddy. Um, so that's the that's the yes meaning no, and then the no meaning yes. The no meaning yes is not so bad, right? It's just frustrating and it's a little bit off-putting.
for some people when you get that yada 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 thing but it's not so bad because you're not going to feel so bad you know that they're saying they don't want to do it but they really do that's not going to leave you feeling too bad you know but the the, the other way around leaves you feeling terrible it leaves you feeling really terrible that you think they're into it and they're, and they're not um, I've had some emails from guys really really upset about that because they had this good relationship with this girl that they thought was romantic but it, you know it, obviously it wasn't they thought it was romantic but the girl didn't and then when they took it to that next step and did the canoodly thing um, that ruined it and then that was the end of it and now she's not answering my emails I don't know how many times I've had that email you know I know there's one guy that's still with us that's still supporting the channel that, that said exactly that one of our patrons sent an email a, a while ago and said that's exactly what happened to him there's possibly other people watching this video right now who've had the same thing happen to them so so yeah hopefully this email helps one person to to either feel better about what's happened to them already or avoid something like this happening to them in the future because it's really upsetting as you can imagine i mean it's just terrible you know it can leave people feeling really really bad as you can imagine you know if you if, if you come away from something someone's not talking to you anymore because you did something to them they didn't want you to do the fact that they said yes 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 doesn't make you isn't going to make you feel any better you know i mean it, it just it's hard to get your head around isn't it from some of us who come from other cultures you know no means no yes means yes easy to understand isn't it that saves a lot of confusion but when you've got no means yes and yes means no you can imagine that that's going to cause all sorts of problems you know and it's really common here it's it's the it's the bad communication yoko akut and i don't really know thing taken to a nasty extreme you know so anyway hopefully that helps at least one person so what can, what makes it more confusing is sometimes yes means yes and no means no here so that's the problem sometimes yes does mean yes and no does mean no and yada does mean yada that's the other thing you got to be careful of that because sometimes yada does mean yada that does mean i don't want to do it you know but the problem is you don't know which one's the real one <laughs> is it yes meaning yes or yet or no meaning no or is it yes meaning no or no meaning yes so you can see again as we mentioned over the years you know there's a huge percentage now and again you see the statistics on this the huge percentage of relationships between Japanese and non-Japanese people that fail. The majority, the majority, the ones I've known firsthand, people I've known in, Jap in relationships with Japanese people, and then just all the anecdotal stories over the years, the emails and sad stories from both sides, incidentally. Um, I get lots of emails from non-Japanese people saying, oh, I was in this relationship with this Japanese lady for all these years. Sometimes they were married, sometimes they had kids, and then, you know, it didn't work and it broke up. Sometimes they'll live here in Japan and it fails, or sometimes they'll live, go back to the other person's country and live there for a while and it fails, and then it breaks up. Uh, lots of stories, and I've also had it from Japanese people, usually Japanese ladies, who'll say to me, oh, oh, you're Australian, oh, I had an Australian boyfriend once, <laughs> right, did you, what happened to him, oh, he went home, or I had an American boyfriend once, oh, did you, what happened to him, uh, he went home, and that's really common, so, you know, the stories you hear the, of it failing, I mean, statistically, the chances of, of a successful relationship between non-Japanese and Japanese people is really, really, um, chance of it, of, of it being successful is really, really remote. And those of you who've, who've either experienced it yourself or, or just watched our videos over the years will know why. I mean, quite often when we talk about things like this, you, you read in the comments, people will be saying, I couldn't handle that. I couldn't handle that. I've got to tell you, I, I couldn't handle the, the other thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, all right, what? Well, you say yada, that's it, you know, and, and a lot of people, and not just this, I mean, not just canoodling topics, but just relationships in general and the communication thing in general, you know, and again, there are exceptions, there are exceptions. I've been particularly lucky um, with with my wife, you know, that, that, that her communication skills and, and we've worked really hard, we work really, really hard um, for our relationship to be successful, you know, and it has worked and, and I do know some other examples, um, but same thing, rocky road, you know, I mean, relationships between any two people anywhere is going to be tricky, but when you throw in this cultural thing, it just makes it so much more complicated, you know, 
and this thing is this is such a core thing too where, when when you come from where from cultures where you know saying yes or no is really important and, and good communication is really important and yes or no is sort of like a basic fundamental of of communication isn't it and when you can't even do that when you don't even know if yes means yes or no means no and i mean again this isn't someone that you've just met and gone home with this or can be but but it you know this can be people that you or someone that you've been in a relationship for a long time with and a lot of those stories are like that oh there's this girl and i was in japan for a year and i saw this girl we used to go out every weekend and we had a really good relationship and then then you know one night i slept with her and then that the next day she wasn't answering my emails anymore and it was all over and that's you know that was what it was she thought he thought he was he thought it was the start of a romance and she just thought it was just a friend so and you just don't know it's just not a part of japanese culture the the communication thing it'd be like you know my my mother has said to me before when i've talked to her not about this particular topic but about the communication thing quite often when i talk about that sort of stuff with her she'll say ah uh, reminds me of australia in the 50s you know and and i think a lot of our a lot of our western countries you know in the 50s would have been like this where there's not a lot of communication about feelings or thoughts or relationships going on and in japan that's still where they are you know as i've said before the technology in japan is in the future but the relationships and the society is still in the past and modern ways of communicating or counseling or or or, or you know relationship sort of stuff is really back in the 50s it really is you know and the way they communicate with each other and the, the yoko or karanai thing the don't really know things just amazing and they just think it's normal you know my wife says it all the time she'll have a meeting with someone or she'll be talking on the phone with someone and i'll say to her later what happened there how'd that go oh don't really yoko or karanai yoko or karanai so <laughs> it's just normal in their in their lives you know which sometimes you can just go oh, well it doesn't matter but when it comes to relationship stuff of course it's really essential for some of us isn't it to really know what's going on just want to know what's going on and quite often you just don't and quite often you never will and that's really hard to deal with as well well you just have to accept it and it'll bother you back of your mind you're thinking what what happened there what happened with that person and it's not necessarily an intimate relationship thing too it could be a co-worker or a neighbor or something and what's suddenly they've got a problem what's their problem and you'll never know they'll never tell you but most likely they'll never tell you and even if they do tell you you still don't know it's the truth or if it's just something they're saying to ex explain it that's not really the truth so anyway you're getting the idea <laughs> the land of no meaning no yes meaning yes or yes meaning no and no meaning yes and you work it out for yourself that's the deal <laughs> sorry guys just telling it like it is everything and everything everything and anything about japan there's this there is this as well anyway i'm going inside for a coffee and a sandwich more videos coming soon